Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to be doing a pre-analysis of Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Now, the reason that I'm doing a pre-analysis is because uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get around to actually doing a real video when she's released, and some people might have already decided if to get her or not by then, so I figured I would just at least give my thoughts already because quite a bit of information is known about her. Um, now, she's not released in JP, so everything that we know about her is actually coming from this uh, notice right here. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually her sub jobs. Now, our main job is Tomb Raider, and we have a bit of information about our skills here, and I think there was some additional information released in the video. But if you look at the sub jobs, Gunner and Ranger, we can gather a lot of information just from that. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go to other units that have those two sub jobs. So if you look at Federica, right? Um, if you look at the Ranger sub job, a lot of the Rangers that have Ranger as a sub job I have the exact same skill except for the last skill. So all the rangers have poison arrow, they have uh, supercharge, they have charge, vigilance, and importantly, sharpshoot. They also all get uh, ranger lore, and I believe they also get focus. So those are the things that all the rangers will get. Like you can take a look at another one just to confirm if you want to see. Uh, for example, we can look at Lucia, who also has ranger as a sub job. And she has those exact same things I mentioned. Vigilance, Sharpshoot, Supercharge, Charge, and what was the other one? Uh, poison Arrow, right? And the passives, Focus, and Ranger Lore. So the same things, uh, it's very similar with also the Gunner subjobs as well. They also get very similar stuff. So I'm going to take a look at Dorando, for example, who has a Gunner subjob, and we can see what, what he gets. So he has Sidewinder, uh, Blackout, um, Council, wait, no, maybe not Council, Vital Shot, yep, so Vital Shot, Blackout, Sidewinder, Aimed Fire, and he also gets Concentrate. So I'm, and for Council and Leg Shot, I'm not sure, he, everyone will probably get one of the two the other one is probably the rotating skill like for example not all rangers have barrage lucia has instead mega charge so there's one skill that rotates for the sub jobs but these the ones that i highlighted are common to everyone so with that information um there is something that we can see already with lara croft and it's similar to federica uh, she will have access to both concentrate and ranger lore so that means they'll have plus three range uh, and with, you know, with the ranger sub job, she will have access to sharpshoot. So basically, she will have almost as much range as Federica. She also gets access to aimed fire if you put her on the gunner sub job. So she can have as much, but she can't, you know, boot, she can't both be using sharpshoot and aimed fire. You need to have somebody else provide aimed fire or some other plus one range uh, buff. But if she's provided that, she will have exactly the same amount of range as Federica, which is insane, right? Federica is already known for having like a very long range. So she will have long range. She will also have access to sharpshoot, which is uh, great for these like evade comps. She'll be a good anti-evade unit because of access to sharpshoot and like ridiculous range. Um, she also has access to vigilance, which significantly raises your evasion rate. Um, if you look at the vision card that's released with her, actually, it's, it, let me go there, talk about it. The vision cards released with her gives her access to uh, luck up, for water type units and then evasion up for craft only uh in addition to this she is getting on her sub and somebody mentioned on her main job she also gets an evade when she does attack so it sounds like she can be an um a long range unit that's also has quite a bit of evasion uh the card seems to suggest that and uh you know with vigilance in there and then her evade buff while she attacks that does set her out to be like an evade long range unit like in the same range, right? As much range as Federica. So I think that that sounds nice. And uh, she's also getting going to be released alongside the Venture units, the rerun for the Venture units, and the first time that they're getting their EX in Global. So for example, she will pair very well with Venture Victora. Venture Victora is more of a, a bulky Ranger unit uh, because she has Paladin sub job, so you can put um, you can put like Saintly Wall on her and uh, Sentinel, right? So she will, where's Sentinel? So she, she will be able to handle like, you know, 
she, she'll be a little bit more bulky while Lara Croft will be more uh, evade -y. So, uh, you know, you can build it that way. You can also build her alongside, for example, Titus and use Titus as a Samurai subjob because he will provide an evasion buff with, with, uh, with the subjob and you can run both of them alongside each other. Titus' evade is not that high. Uh, he will be more likely doing more DPS. You can use Lara Croft instead to um, build chains for Titus or something like that, but that's the idea that, you know, you use evasion from Titus to grant Lara Croft a bit more evade and run them alongside each other. Uh, however, I think that there is a very significant disadvantage to uh, the setup of Lara Croft, and that is that their light, their weakness to lightning is not really mitigated with evade. Um, the units that are very common for lightning are, you know, Cloud, who was recently released, and Federica. And both of them access to Sharpshoot, which just completely negates your evade. And even worse, if you use uh, Vigilance, uh, Vigilance actually lowers your own elemental and attack resistances. So if you use Vigilance to, you know, increase your evade and then you get hit with Sharpshoot, you're getting hit a lot harder. So uh, it might be good against, you know, units that don't have any guaranteed source of attack, but against, uh, you know, guaranteed hit sources, it actually does worse for you than it benefits you. So you have to be careful there. And um, so I, I, I think that's the crux of the problem, really, right? Like uh, when, when, um, when Winter Victor came out and everyone was level 99, she was really good because she was a good tanky unit and she has... Uh, you know, saintly wall to help uh, live longer win against uh, lightning units. But the problem was that Nibla has Dispel Barrier, and once she breaks a barrier, she can actually one-shot Venture Victor, and they have very similar ranges. Actually, uh, Nibla has longer range than Venture Victor, so she can one-shot her from a longer range than Venture Victor, she can't get in range. And so this, this is going to be a similar problem with Lara Croft and Federica. Uh, Federica will most likely be able to one-shot Lara Croft unless they give her like 40% missile resistance or something ridiculous like that. Uh, but yeah, most of the time Federica or Cloud will just be able to one-shot Lara Croft and Lara Croft will not be able to one-shot Federica or Cloud. And uh, I think, you know, that's, that's, that's really the problem here. And so for me personally, I really like playing units in class match. And um, as cool as Lara Croft might be, I think that uh, it's going to be really hard to play her in class match for that reason. Um, there is a card coming out and, you know, it's already released in JP. I don't know what it's called, but it has a picture of Miranda on it. And it gives a pretty effect of 15% agility, agility to all water units, 10% missile resistance to all water units, and 20% lightning resistance to all water units. With that card, maybe it's a little bit easier or it's when possible to play like an all water team because you can survive just a little bit better against these lightning teams maybe you need something like that before these water teams become viable uh but you know right now it's, it's kind of difficult to play against them uh because they just do so much damage and they do damage from like so far away that it's really hard to get close to them and try to take them out so um you know, so you just keep that in mind. Like, you know, obviously play the units that you like. If you're a huge fan of Lara Croft, definitely get her because you will have a lot more fun playing the units that you enjoy than trying to play units that are just the or the best or, you know, the ones that are like Lacrosalna tier, I guess. There's there's very few, but if that's what, you know, if you if you just want to win, then I guess you should be looking for those units. But if you want to have fun, go for the units that you enjoy. So uh, Lara Croft, I mean, she is going to have as much range as Federica. She is probably do a lot of damage. Uh, she is going to be evadey, and she's kind of pairable with some units that are very powerful, like Titus. Um, and then Summer Elturel is very good. Um, and then on the support side, Aerith is very good. So you know, she is like she does have a place. I think I think she will be good. But I think for especially live PvP scenarios, I think she's going to have a bit of trouble surviving against Federica. But what other water unit is? I think the one that has a chance of. Uh, matching against Federica is uh, Summer Elturel because she has such a high defense value. But with sub uh, sub jobs of Gunner and Ranger, I don't think Lara Croft is going to have like any defensive value at all. And even if you like stack a ton of missile resistance on it, Federica has a forty percent missile resist penetration on her passive. So uh, you know, with that in mind, I, I can see Lara Croft getting one shot by. Federica and Cloud. 
So if you are a fan of CM, or especially manual battle, manual PvP, I don't think she will do very well against, you know, that particular unit, like Federica Cloud combinations or one of the two. Uh, and I think they will be uh, very popular in class matches and manual battles because they always have been. So just keep that in mind. Um, still, like, she does look like a neat unit. Uh, and, you know, she has, all, like, all three of her uh, sub jobs are some kind of range attack. So I feel like she will do a ton of damage just because of all the passives that she gets. Like, for example, sorry, not passives, all the attack nodes and stuff that she will get. Um, like, for example, you have some units that have, uh, like, a ninja, uh, ninja sub or something on Federica. Uh, and so the ninja sub instead gives you higher agility, uh, like, higher agility and dexterity, while things like the ranger sub gives you attack values. So I feel like, you know, because of the ranger sub and then the gunner sub, she will just have a ton of attack. Um, so, yeah, I feel like she'll have a ton of attack. She'll probably have, like, uh, maybe a higher damage potential than Federica. That's what my assumption is going to be. But I still feel like Federica will her. So that's what it is. Anyway, uh, that's all I'm going to say, really. Uh, I will wait for when the unit is released to give you a more updated um, analysis of her. But it might be, you know, like, it won't be right away. I'll have to actually think about her skills and then... Uh, you know, think about it, and by that time, a lot of people might have already pulled for her or uh, thought about getting her or not. So I thought I would just, you know, release this video a couple days in advance and I'll let you guys hear my thoughts. Anyway, that's it for me for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Oh, also, you should keep in mind that we are getting another unit uh, that was announced in the video. Her name is Starlight something. Uh, what is her name again? Starlight Elsie, I think. Uh, let me look it up. Yeah, Starlight Elena. That's her name. So she is a 100 cost uh, light unit, and I'm going to guess that she's also going to be limited. So, um, and she'll be released on the 29th, while Lara Croft is released on the 22nd, so that is one week later. Um, so if you have a limited amount of Vizdior, you probably won't be able to pull for both. Uh, if you are interested in getting one of the two, maybe wait a week to see how strong Starlight Elserel, sorry, Starlight Alina really is. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm assuming Lara Croft's banner probably be like two, three weeks. So at least, you know, pull the guild banners. I always recommend to pull the guild banners because that's 70 shards that you're not going to get otherwise. Pull the guild banners and then wait. Um, and yeah, like, you know, if you know for sure you're going to, you're going to have fun with Lara Croft, then sure, go for it. Pull her. But if not, then wait for a week, uh, and maybe you would like Starlight Elena better. Uh, anyway, that's it for me for now. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care now.